What we're going to do in this video is show you how to resize your image files for submission um, online to online entry for galleries and um, contests. These contests and uh, galleries that take submissions online always have a requirement for your files to be a certain size, either a pixel width, uh, maximum pixel width or minimum pixel width or file size, etc. We're going to show you how to do this using Adobe Photoshop. And then we're going to show you how to do this using GIMP, which is a free program that you can download online for Windows and Macintosh uh, that does the same thing as Photoshop, but it's free. Okay, now here I've got a very large TIFF file. Uh, this is an image that was professionally photographed uh, just for, resub just for uh, reproduction. Um, so it is very, very high quality and of course uh, much much too large for submission. You can see by looking at the document um, bar down here at the uh, lower left that it's 309 megabytes um, and if we go up to image image size we can see that it's 12,000 pixels by 9,000 pixels um, which is uh, just going to be far too large for a submission. So what we need to do is change the image size here. And the resolution is 300 pixels per inch. And we want to change that down to 72 for an online submission. You can see by doing that, we've already lost quite a few pixels. Now, um, I might be able to save this out small enough, e even at this large size, that uh, it would be OK. But I'm going to reduce it again and make it 2,000 pixels on the long side. Um, I really don't want to be putting files out there any larger than I need to just for online submission. If I click OK, the file has now been resized, um, but I need to save it. So what I want to do now is save as, because I don't want to submit a TIFF file. I'm better off submitting a, a JPEG file. It'll have better compression and be... Um, smaller to save on the internet. Uh, make sure that uh, embed color profile is checked here. Um, whatever your profile is that you're using, and you'll embed that into your file. And we're going to change the name of the file here um, so we don't overwrite our, accidentally overwrite our original file. Submission. So I'm going to click save now. Now when I click save, the dialog box comes up for my options in saving the file. Um, I can see even at the maximum quality um, at this size that the file is only 2.8 megabytes so I don't need to reduce it any further. If I still needed to reduce it further I can do that um, here by changing the quality of the file. What you're really doing is changing the compression. Um, I don't like to go below 8 um, in this case, we really don't need to do it at all because it's only 2.8 megabytes. And um, on the format options, you want to leave this at baseline. Um, don't play around with baseline optimized or progressive. Um, the, really, the chances of people seeing a f file that has problems on the other end are kind of increased anytime you um, start playing with these. Progressive really is meant for... Um, it was really meant for the old days of the internet when um, you had to wait for your images to come in and what it would do is it would uh, save the file in like TV lines, in horizontal lines, so that a little bit of the image would come in and you could see sort of start seeing what it was and then it would come in progressively. Um, but there's really no need for that anymore. All it does is complicate things. Um, so once again, we're going to save this at a quality of 12. Um, it's going to end up being 2.8 megabytes and uh, close this. Now I have my submission file right here. Um, so I'm going to uh, go here and I'm, I'm going to upload more me new media. Oh, I forgot to say what it was. It's an image file. Um, and the artwork title is Supper at MS Medium is oil painting and I believe that this piece was 30 by 40 none of this is really 
pertinent to saving your JPEGs, but this is what you end up doing with them. It's a two inch thick cradle. Uh, the price would be $2,000 for that. Year completed would be 2015. And I'm ready to go. I'm going to add this to my portfolio. Oh, I haven't changed, I haven't chosen a file. Here we go. There's the image. And add my file. And I have successfully resized and saved an image for submission. There we are. We're good to go. Back to my portfolio and it's been added. Now one of the things that I hear from people when uh, they say that they need to do an online submission, so you can just, you know, resize it yourself. They say, I don't have Photoshop and I can't afford Photoshop or I'm not going to pay for Photoshop. Well, if you don't want to do that, you can always go to GIMP.org and download a free copy of GIMP. And GIMP is the open source version of Photoshop, enabling you to edit your files without spending money. Now, GIMP is a little bit different, and uh, it's not quite as sexy as Photoshop. It's not quite as easy to use, but in fact, it is usable. So if I take this TIFF file that I've got here and I decide to open it with GIMP, and uh, I'm going to show you how to edit a file in GIMP. A little bit different, but also just about as easy. Give you a quick overview here. Here's our file. And if I go to image uh, scale image, it's a little bit different than Photoshop. But the idea is the same. It needs The file needs to be 1920 pixels on the long side. There it is. Uh, it's at a resolu resolution of 324. I need to change that. It is a resolution of 72 now. And on the long side, I've got 1920 pixels, which I think should be just fine for online submission. And I go scale. And now I've scaled the image. The weird thing about GIMP is you can't save a copy like you do in Photoshop. What you have to do is export as... And in this case, I'm going to export as a JPEG. I'm going to call it Captain Crunch Submission JPEG. And I say export. Here is the dialog that will show me how large the file is going to be. Um, I'm going to save this at a quality of 100%, and it's still going to be under the 5 megabyte limit for submission. So I can say export now, and GIMP is exporting my submission JPEG. There it is. It's ready to go. Once again, I just go over here, upload no media, choose an image, choose the file. It's my Captain Crunch JPEG. So there I've got my three files. Uh, we've got uh, two of them that were edited and prepared in Photoshop and one of them that was edited and prepared using the free version of GIMP. And that concludes our video on how to resize and save your images for online submissions for galleries, websites, and uh, contests, etc. Hope this has helped. Thanks.